everybody has to start small. Starting small is not the issue, but staying small is the issue. And I think we just have a propensity to, to, to just stay where we are and be very happy about it. And the flip side of it is really that, therefore, our aspiration level seems to be very, very low. <coughs> so you get one paper in a good conference and you're now happy for the next two years, or you crack one problem in whatever chemistry, what, what have you, and you uh, so this aspiration to, to do more, to reach out more, to achieve more, is actually something that seems to be uh, just not ingrained in us for various variety of reasons, so I'm not going to get into reasons. Okay. So I remember it as, 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 as um, head uh, in, in IT Kanpur many, many years ago, just talk to all the faculty. Now remember, these are the best faculty you have in the country. And you ask them, what is the aspiration, what is it that you would like to be in the five, ten years, assuming you have everything available to you. Hardly any of us, and I don't mean them, versus I'm saying I'm very much a part of it. Hardly any of us had any grand idea of, you know, we're going to accept one or two people who are indeed doing very well and are aspirational. Hardly any, anybody had any significant challenges in mind. And that's where I think is the central biggest challenge at an individual level that we have to face as researchers is to be able to get out of our comfort zone, complacent zone, to aspire for something higher. At the individual level, I think that's probably the central biggest thing. And of course, it follows, if you just think a little bit more, it follows that aspiration without necessary foundations or work is really dangerous. You can aspire to, to be a Nobel laureate, no harm in that. But if you aspire to be a Nobel laureate and you spend there and home, you come at 10 o'clock and you go off at 4 o'clock, then that aspiration is nothing but dangerous. So any aspiration, it's good to be aspirational, but aspiration which is which is not backed by foundations. Foundations means that you have to really get down to the core of your subject and really have all the foundations necessary, whether it's maths, engineering, software, what have you. Number one, you can't, you can't build aspirations without foundation. Nothing can be built on that. And number two, of course, you have to be willing to work extremely, extremely hard. So I would leave as a general thought, I thought maybe uh, start with the somber this thing, but the fact is that all of us are researchers, and this is what I mentioned is at an individual level. I'm trying from this thing, but it is really for each of us to look at that and see how we counter it. The good thing is that the Indian scene is changing very, very rapidly and for the better. Many, many new opportunities are opening up both for jobs as well as all sorts of other things, new, new IITs, new universities. I'll spend maybe 40 minutes on that and hopefully you keep it somewhat interactive. Yeah. Um, uh, the topic is such that it's going to talk about the general area. It's a small room, so yeah. it's... So just a little bit first about what uh, the, the, about our uh, new institute that I am at. So Triple IT Delhi, as your Vice Chancellor mentioned, it's a, a state of Delhi created institute. It is like an IIT in the sense that it's created by an act of the Delhi government. IIT is created by an act of a central government. So it's therefore a state university, and uh, uh, so we therefore it doesn't come under. UGC or AICT or any such body, and we are non-affiliating, uh, non-affiliating university, uh, limited to the state of Delhi for our operation. A BTEC program we started two years ago. We have right now only B one BTEC program in in IT. PhD program we started last year, and we have 
about 7-8 PhD students and this year we just concluded our admission so likely to have another 5-6 and our MTech program is starting this year. Uh, it's, uh, we're starting with a focused program in tech and computer science with specialization in information security. So we are very research focused in institute in the sense that all our um, you know, faculty evaluations etc. are going to be based on a lot on research. And there are a bunch of groups that are there now. So if you want to know which research groups, etc., what faculty profile, etc., just go to that website. Okay, so here is the agenda for today, just as the title says, uh, research and research career. These are the two things we will just talk about. And in research, I think it is necessary to start uh, at the very bottom of it as to first just understand what research is and look at what does research and software engineering mean. So, and then we talk about what are the careers, focus is careers in India. To get a sense before we go, how many of you are um, either PG students or teachers? All right, good. And therefore the rest are what, undergraduate students? How many of you are undergraduate students? So most of you are therefore uh, postgraduate in the world. So let me first start by asking the question, what is research? Let me get a few solutions this thing before I throw my slide open. So you say I, you know, somebody is doing this. What is research? Can somebody try to give some answers? Don't have to be perfect about it. I know engineering, right? Engineering is I go and put this together and build it, that's engineering. I know civil engineering, put it together, design it and make it building. What is research? Some thoughts, some teachers, some researchers. Yeah. So an area where you learn deep about a subject, all right? Anybody else? So let me now just tell partition research in two types. There is one is research which is research researching a topic. That is, let's see who all has done what in certain on a certain problem. Researching a topic, right? That's what a lot of people will do for their term paper, for their report. New, uh, journalists do that for their articles. Science writers do it for something, right? You research on what has been done. That's the kind of research that man just mentioned. Going deep.